Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. I sure appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time, just in time for a visit to Lake Navarro Mills in Navarro County, Texas. Loud car, so let's get on the road. We have arrived, Oak Park, Navarro Mills Lake. It's gloomy and overcast, but the weatherman said we might get some sun today. Anyway, we are in site number 35. 36 is a beautiful site. I actually backed into that one first. Now, all of the campgrounds on Navarro Mills are infested with Argentinian ants. And those, those Argentinian ants are considered to be one of the most invasive of the invasive species in, I think, the United States. Uh, they don't bite you, but they will certainly swarm your RV if they are present in a given campground. First thing I did before I even backed into the site was to <clears throat> broadcast some triazicide. As far as I know, that's the only product on the market that is that'll kill them. I know that it'll at least deter them because when we were camping at Liberty Hill on the south side of the lake, that was our first experience with the Argentinian ant, and they had. They were like five lines, an inch wide, going into the motor, into the trailer, because that was when we had the uh, the trailer. And they, every corner had these ants I'm crawling all over you in the middle of the night. And so I went into a small town here and read the ingredients or the, the listed insects on all these different products and triazicide was the only one that mentioned Argentinian ants. And as soon as I put it out, those ants were, they were gone. So if you're coming out of here, you might want to bring some triazicide with you. Now this is a 30 amp and water site only. Asphalt pad that runs downhill toward the creek to the back you'll notice i'm running off the water tank uh simply because i i do that anyway uh and i don't want my ho my cord i don't want the electric cord laying on the ground that gives them a open invitation so everything that the tri the rv is sitting on has been uh, I've put out the triazicide, so I'm parked on top of that. I've got the electric cable up. I put triazicide around the pedestal. And we hope that that works. So, I should have blocked up the passenger side rear tire. I'm about an inch off the ground there. And I'm only here for one night. Had that been the driver's side, yeah, I would have blocked that up because I don't want the frame on that side twisting. Concrete picnic table with a very nice steel roof. And then down here we have a fire ring. I'm not, I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to camp here tonight, though. I don't have a lantern hook. The ubiquitous lantern hook is missing. All right. Well, I'm going to deploy Little Red, and we're going to go see some stuff. So if, if you're a follower of the channel, Oak Park is the location of my very first scooter video. Well, it will be the second one. The first one was down at... Uh, it wasn't even really a video. It was just a clip my daughter did of me going by on the scooter pulling the trailer but this is the first place that bb ever rode in the, the scooter trailer as well 
Anyway, let's go see some stuff. The lighting is horrible today. So Oak Park actually has a group pavilion with a fantastic lake view. It's a big fire bonfire pit, and then there's just a little campfire pit. Several tables and a great big old smoker. You can cook up a bunch of big old ribs or briskets or chicken. Uh, there are four RV sites as well. So it'd be a good place to have a little meet up. Let's go see the fishing dock. Navarro Mills Lake looks to be very, very low. Somebody left their catfish bait down here. So here we are on the fishing dock. And the Vero Mills Lake is actually known as one of the better crappie lakes in North Texas, North Central Texas. Which is why you have this great fishing platform. Let's go see some more stuff. Because of the fact that it's such a great fishing lake, Navarro Mills, Navarro Mills Lake, Lake Navarro Mills, whichever one it is. There's quite a few boat ramps with courtesy docks. Although with the, as much wind as blowing today, I don't think you're going to be doing too much boating. I think I'm about to go get a jacket. Kind of chilly. Oh, it is March 3rd, 2022. So let's go find some more stuff. If you're coming out of Lake Navarro Mills and you got some kiddos and it's, it's warm enough, and even if it's not warm enough, they're going to want to go get in the water. They're going to want to go swimming. Well, I'm happy to say that Oak Park actually has a fantastic swim area. What a great beach for a Corps of Engineers. Like you actually, you can see the dam over there. And if they don't want to go swimming, but they're still driving you crazy wanting to do something, there is a fantastic playground. And this is a soft rubber floor so you don't have to worry about sand and rocks getting in the kids clothes or shoes and that looks like fun let's do that aerial let's go high All right, let's go see some more stuff. So I'm out looking for some firewood to purchase. So I whipped in the, the, the Corps of Engineer headquarters for the, for the Navarro, Lake Navarro Mills project is right there. This is kind of an overlook area. That's a day use that's accessible from Oak Park, but it's closed. I was reading the plaque, very informative. Navarro Mills, the construction was started in 1959. Uh, and it's, it's a dam on, the, on Richland Creek, which is part of the Trinity River Basin. Provides municipal water for the city of Corsicana and a couple of the other smaller communities around, around the lake. That's what the plaque said. All right, let's go find some more stuff. 
<laughs> so as you're as you're driving in to Oak Park before you get to the the gatehouse there's a, a road to the left there's actually another gate to the left and that goes to a day use area now it's closed for the the season and it, it won't be open until I guess it gets warm enough because warm enough to swim because really that's all that's here it's a day use swim area beautiful sandy beach with pavilions that would be this would be right on the water if the lake was up but it's low right now I had to sneak in from over here but that's a open lake access point for, for fishing you can see it on Google Maps here I'll, I'll show you on the map where we are all right let's go find some more stuff We're going down there. This is below the Navarro Mills Dam. Actually, you could see in if you look on Google satellite images, you can see that this was being reconstructed, and you can now see the the finished product. Definitely not ADA, <laughs> ADA friendly. I'm guilty. Got away. Yes, he got away. Isn't that frustrating? You don't have to get up. Sure? I just came down here to look over the edge okay. and to ask if y'all were catching any fish. Yeah, we just got here. Just got here. Yeah, so the dude said they caught a couple of keepers and most of the rest of them were little and I think that's probably what I just missed. Y'all fish down here very often? I don't. This is the first time I've ever been here. We've been fishing on the lake for like two and a half days. We ain't done no good at all. It seems to be the, the theme everywhere I've gone the last three months. The fish are just not biting. Yeah. Well, my daughter and them, they all came here two and a half weekends ago and they caught a bunch of catfish. On the... Oh, that last holiday we had. Uh, so I figured they'd still be biting, but not necessarily. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. Sir. Now I gotta go back up. Oak Point Park, Navarra Mills Lake. I like this part. It's not a. It's not a. This is not a lake where you get a lot of uh, high-dollar ski boats with the super loud sound systems. I like this part. Right now, I'm just sitting here, hanging out. So I want to, after I left the dam, I drove around to the other two campgrounds on this side of the lake. They're not open for the season, so couldn't get in, couldn't, couldn't even sneak in. I had to come back. Oh, darn. All right. I got to shoot more, more video for the products that I'm, um, doing videos on and one of those is this not sure if this will this video not sure if the video for the high o2 will come out before this video does or not that's 
the high O2 fire pit from Devos. And I like that thing. Um, it's heavy. <laughs> it's it's heavy, but you want if you're carrying a fire pit, you want it to be pretty heavy duty. What I like is that it, it's 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 sturdy, but it packs flat. Anyway, you have to watch the video on that. It's cool beans. I turned it into a charcoal grill, but it's primarily a portable flat pack fire pit. So stay tuned. More to come.
the high O2 fire pit. I'm really impressed. It doesn't seem to matter how much wood I throw in there. It just, it doesn't smoke. <clears throat> You can see that it's got fantastic airflow coming up through the bottom. I mean, everything is just burning hot and clean. Nothing is smoldering. That's a winner winner. Definitely a winner. Check out the link. Good morning. Almost spring. You can tell by the way the birds are singing. Well, our, our brief visit to Oak Park, Bardwell Lake. It's about done. I have another beautiful morning. Oak Park, Bardwell Lake. I like this part. Although we did have quite a bit of road noise last night. I guess it was people going to town to party. I don't know. There was a lot of traffic on the small county road. And a lot of people rolled in last night after dark, surprisingly enough. Sum it up. Yeah, this, this is a nice little park. Great waypoint stop. If you're moving north and south on 45, great place to spend a couple of nights. Definitely a good destination if you like to fish. I recommend Oak Park, Bardwell Lake. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Of course, it's going to change. Tonight, we've got storms of the cold front coming through. So, welcome to Texas. If you found some entertainment and or enjoyment in this little video, I'd appreciate you giving me the thumbs up and blasting me out across your social media. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. So for those of you who have subscribed, this Joe's for you. Thank you. That's why I get to do what I do. That's why I'm here. And for my patrons. You rock. Thank you so much. It is most appreciated. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?